one of the questions I get asked a lot is what is the difference between a building designer, a drafts person and an architect? A building designer and a drafts person are essentially the same thing. A drafts person is kind of just an older title that we used to use and now we use the term building designer. To become a building designer, it's a two year TAFE course or three year TAFE course now. Uh, it's actually what I studied first. Um, and there is a really strong focus on the TAFE course on, on how to document a building and, and how to do that really well. Uh, and that's kind of it for a drafts person. And then you can go on if you wish to, like I did, to university and do the five year architecture course. It's actually a double degree course. It's got a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. And the focus at university, or at least at Deakin where I studied, was a lot more on design. Um, so really thinking through the design of the buildings that we were presenting rather than how we um, document them or produce the drawings. Um, after you've finished your university degree, you then go on and have a couple of years of experience and then sit for your registration exam through the um, Architects Registration Board of Victoria in our case. Um, and that's a three part exam. So we need a two year logbook of experience. We actually do a written exam and then we do an oral exam as well. And at that point, you are now an architect. Thanks for watching Ask a Bespoke Architect. If you want any more information or you didn't feel like I covered the questions properly, please feel free to contact me on either the information on our website or below.